Molly, are you feeling okay? You hardly touched your food or touched your drink. I am just tired but I don't know why. I slept pretty good last night. Good morning and how are my two favorite girls today? Molly says she feels tired and she hasn't eaten her breakfast. My little girl, are you feeling okay? Wait a minute, where did that bruise came from? Bruise? Molly, have you hurt yourself at all lately? No, I haven't. Look, there is more than one, Molly. Someone hasn't been hitting you or anything at school have they? No, no one has been hitting me. Are you sure? If someone has been hitting you or bullying you at school then you need to tell us so we can deal with it. You don't have to be afraid to tell us. You'd be doing the right thing if you do. We're your parents and we're here to help you, not make fun of you sweetie. No one has been bullying me at school or hitting me, I swear. Okay we believe you. Listen, why don't you go play in the living room while me and mommy have a talk? Okay. So, how do you think she got those bruises if she didn't fall over and no one has been bullying her at school and hitting her? I don't know, I'm just as baffled as you are, but you know, she's been more tired than usual, maybe there is something wrong with her it's causing her to get bruises. What do you mean? Well I had a sister who suffered from a condition called Fanconia anemia and that caused her to have bruises to appear suddenly and feel tired all the time. Do you think Molly could have that? Well it's a possibility, it's a genetic disorder so it's possible that she could have inherited from my side of the family. Oh my god. Try not to worry just yet, it might not be that but let's take her to see the doctor just to be on the safe side. Molly, we need you to be a brave girl while the doctor takes a look at you. Why am I here? So we can find out what's causing you to get bruises. Make sure there isn't anything seriously wrong. Hello, I am Dr. Lloyd and you must be Molly. Yes, so Dr. Lloyd can you tell me what's wrong with me? Why am I feeling tired all the time and why am I getting bruises without falling over? Well, I need to do some tests on you first before I can confirm anything. But. There is something wrong, I can sense. Well like I said, we'll need to do some tests on Molly before an official diagnosis can be confirmed. Am I sick? Hopefully not but we still need to take a look at you just to make sure and if you then we can give you medicine to make you better. Now I'll need you both to wait outside while I take Molly for testing. No, I want them to stay. Now listen to me, we need you to be a brave girl while the doctor takes a look at you and don't worry, me and daddy will be right outside. But I'm scared, I want you here with me. I know baby girl but right now I need you to be a big girl, everything is going to be okay. But, what if I'm sick, what if they can't make me better, I'm dying. Listen to me sweetie, don't you ever think like that, no matter what happens no matter what the result. The doctors will do everything they can to prevent that. Don't worry too much, it's probably nothing serious but we still need to take a look at you to be sure. We hope not. Please God, don't let her have the same condition my sister had. I can't go through that again. Okay, we need to now take Molly for testing now. We understand. Well we finally got her test results back, I'm afraid it is not good news. Oh god, what's wrong with her? Well according to the test results, Molly is suffering from a rare genetic disorder known as Fonconi anemia. No, no, I was hoping this wasn't going to happen, I can't go through this again, I just can't, I can't watch another person I care so much die in front of me. He had a sister who also suffered from Fonconi anemia. We had a suspicion that Molly was also suffering from it, that she inherited it possibly from her late aunt. Well that is a possibility, but if we are to prevent Molly from meeting the same fate as her aunt then, she will need a bone marrow transplant. So does that mean we'll need to find someone with the same stem cells in order for her to have the transplant? Yes, that means we will need to find a donor in order for Molly to have the transplant, if this condition is left untreated. It's a high possibility Molly could end up with leukemia or any other type of cancer, 
Also, her immune system will be weakened so she is prone to illnesses. But, she is only six. She can't die. I know this isn't easy to hear, but I promise we will do everything we can to prevent that. What about the bruising? Is that part of her condition? I am afraid it is. Anyways, here are her medical records. I suggest you keep this copy with you in case anyone to see Molly's bruises and get the wrong idea. You mean, they might think she is being abused? That might not happen but keep this with you just in case. You can use these records as proof Molly isn't being abused if it ever comes to that. Okay, so when can we take Molly home? We'll keep her in overnight just for observation, but you can take her home first thing tomorrow. So mommy, am I sick after all? Yes I'm afraid you are honey, but don't worry. The doctors know what's wrong so they know what to do to make you better, but that means you'll have to go to the hospital a bit more often. Don't worry mommy, I'll try my best to be brave. Good morning Kimberly. Say, looks like your Molly has been quite accident prone lately. Just look at all those bruises. Molly, can you go play whilst I talk to Maureen? Okay mommy. Molly hasn't been falling over, we've just got back from the hospital. Molly's been diagnosed with Frankeny anemia and that's what is causing her bruising. Yeah, I'm sure she has. What are you getting at? Oh nothing, nothing at all. Anyways I hope Molly gets all the help she'll need. I hope she feels better Thanks soon. Thanks anyway Maureen. I'm going to go back to my daughter now. I'll see you later. Yeah sure, see you later. Hello, I would like to speak to social services, please, it's about a little girl who lives next door to me, I believe she's being abused, her name is Molly Hinchelson, yes, I can confirm that she is indeed being abused. Molly, can we talk to you for just a minute? What is it, Daddy? Well, it's about what's wrong with you, you see. Your illness is really serious and you'll have to have some very special treatment to make you better. But, surely I've got medicine to make me better. Yes that's true but the thing with your illness is that you'll need a very special kind of medicine to make you better. You see, this condition is making your blood unhealthy. And it requires a very special kind of medicine to make it healthy again. Is that why I've been getting bruises? Because my blood is pearly? Yes that is right princess. But don't worry, we will make sure you get this special treatment. Will I have to go to heaven? No, not for a very very long time. Well, I hope I'll get better very very soon, being ill is no fun. No it isn't, but like mommy and daddy said, we will make sure you'll get this special treatment. I understand, can I go back to playing with my bear now? Yes, of course you can sweetie. Do you think we did the right thing telling her? She needed to know. It's better to tell her rather than keep it from her, otherwise she won't understand why she's spending a lot of time in the hospital. That's true I guess, I still can't get my head rounded, that our little girl needs a bone marrow transplant to save her life, what if we can't find a matching donor? We will find one, there's got to be someone out there that's got to be a match. <coughs> Now who on earth could that be? I can't be dealing with any visitors right now. Don't worry, I'll sort this out. Hello, is this the Hingleson's residence? Um, yes, um, who are you exactly? My name is Bridget Baker, I currently work for social services. We recently received a phone call earlier today regarding your daughter Molly. What kind of phone call? Well according to the phone call, they said your daughter is being abused and they were pretty certain about it. Wait a minute, has this got something to do with her bruises? Because this is all a big misunderstanding. So you admit that Molly has been receiving a number of bruises? Well yes, but it's not what you think. What is going on? Hello, you must be Molly's mother, I am Bridget Baker from Social Services. Social Services? That's right, apparently someone called the Monas and told them that Molly is being abused, because of those bruises. Who the hell has been saying all this? I'm sorry mum but that is private information, 
Miss Baker, this has been one big misunderstanding, you see, Molly has recently been diagnosed with Fankini anemia, that's the reason she's getting bruises. We have her medical records as proof, we will show you them right now. All in good time Mr. Hinkelson, but right now I would like to speak with Molly. Why do you want to speak with Molly? We just told you the reason for her bruises, what more do you want? It's just a precaution, now are you going to let me speak with your daughter or are you going to make this more difficult than it has to be? Okay fine, you can speak with Molly, but I still don't see a reason why. Thank you Mr. Hingleson, this shouldn't take long. Who on earth would think we are abusing Molly? I don't know but if this gets bad, I'm going to find out who reported us and tell them they made a big mistake, some people really need to mind their own business. So tell me Molly, are you happy living at home with mommy and daddy? Yes, they take really god care of me and give me everything I need. They have always been there for me. Okay, and has mommy or daddy ever hit you at all? No, they have never hit me and they never will. I see, just one more question, how did you get those bruises on your arm? Oh these, well mommy and daddy said I have an illness that makes my blood unhealthy and that it makes me bruise easy. I've been to the hospital and they said I'm sick. I see. How long do you think they'd be? I don't know but I hope this is nothing but a misunderstanding, I'm sure Molly will tell that social worker that we have not and never have abused her. Uh hum. Oh Ms. Baker, what is going on? Well, after having a chat with your daughter and what she's been saying, I believe this Fanconi anemia business is nothing but a cover up. What, why would we make something like that up? We told you she has Fanconi anemia and that we've got her medical records as proof. Please, just take a look, these will tell you that she has officially been diagnosed that it causes bruising, we are not child abusers, never have and never will be. Safe it Mrs. Dingleson, I've dealt with cases like this before, parents physically abusing their children and making up some medical condition as a cover up, for all I know, those records could have been forged, now I'm afraid I have no choice but to remove Molly from your care until further notice. Now you listen here, you are not taking Molly anywhere, me and my wife have done nothing wrong, you can take our daughter away from us, I will not allow it. Mr. Hingleson, don't make this any more serious than it already is. This is complete bullshit, we've done nothing wrong, you'll be hearing from our lawyer. Do what you want, Ock, come along Molly, time to go, time to take you away from these evil child abusers. Mommy, Daddy help me, help me. I can't believe this is happening, our daughter needs medical attention and some nasty social worker had to take her away from us, who the hell would even accuse us of child abuse? I don't know but I'm going to find out, and when I do, I will make sure they won't get away with this, I'll teach them a thing or two for shit stirring, and then, we are going to get a lawyer and fight to get our little girl back before it's too late. What do you mean too late? Well, if this Bridget fucking Baker woman doesn't believe that Molly has Fankini anemia then there is the chance that she may not take her to hospital for medical treatment. And if she doesn't receive her treatment or get the bone marrow transplant whilst in the care system, then we could lose her for good and I don't mean to the care system. Oh God. Kimberly if we don't get our daughter back soon then it's possible she will die, don't worry honey, I will call the lawyer and take her to court to demand that social worker, to let our daughter go and see that her condition is real, just you wait. So Mr and Mrs Hingleson, I understand why are you here, it's because a social worker wrongfully accused you both of abusing your daughter Molly without looking into it first. Yes. That social worker took away our daughter because she thinks we are abusing her because she has bruises caused from her medical condition, please you have to help us. Don't you worry Kimberly, I will do everything in my power to demand that nasty social worker to let Molly go and realize this is all a big mistake, I promise. Can't believe some nasty social worker took Molly away from us, I still don't get how someone could report us and wrongfully accuse me and my wife of child abuse. And if we don't get her back, then she may not get the help she needs, she may not get the transplant, 
I can't lose another person I care about. Hello, Brian. Oh, hello Maureen. What brings you over here? Oh, I noticed you looked a bit down in the dumps so I thought I'd come and see if you're okay. Not great actually. I'm sad because someone calls social services on us because they think we were abusing Molly because of those bruises caused by her condition, and now me. Kimberly are accused of making it all up and now Molly has been taken into foster care. Oh, it came quicker than I expected. What? Maureen. Did you call social services on us? Yes, I did. I saw those bruises on that poor little girl's arms so I did what any other decent person would have done when they see that a child is being abused. Now listen here you fat bitch. Those bruises were caused by Molly's illness. Me and Kimberly have not been abusing her. You are seriously deluded to even think that. A medical condition does not cause bruises on the child. Hitting a child causes bruises. Are you seriously fucking dumb or what? How about you go look up Fanconi anemia online and it will tell you that unexplained bruising is one of the symptoms. What is going on? Oh I just found out who report us to social services over Molly's bruises. And I know who did it. It was this fat fucking dickass bitch by the name of Maureen. She was the one who reported us to social services. Maureen, is this true? So, got nothing to say now have you? You seem pretty pleased for admitting what you did. Maureen, how can you do this to us? After everything we did for you the past, we supported you when your Peter died and this is how you repay us, thinking we are child abusers. And reporting us to social services. Now thanks to you, we may never get our little girl back. The social worker think we made up her condition and she will not get the bone marrow transplant she needs. Oh please, if you're that desperate then why not pay me $50,000 and I'll tell the social worker to give her back. That's the only way you'll get her back. Fuck you, you fucking fat ass bitch. No way I'm paying that much to get her back. It won't be that easy to get her back. Like it will be that easy. It can take months or even years for us to get Molly back. And for all you know. She may die before that even happens, but you can make it so much easier if you call social services right now and admit you made a mistake. No, that is not happening. For your information, I paid the social worker to think it is real, so nice try. Ha 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 ha. You fucking bitch. Now I know why that social worker kept refusing to see the medical workers for Molly. You bought her, did you? That is so fucking it. I will sue your ass. That's right, walk away like a fucking coward. I know you and that social worker work together for money. You won't get away with this. I will bring your ass to court, just you wait. I can't believe she thought we were abusing Molly, after all these years of nothing but being good friends with that woman and offering our support when she needed it. I know, how ungrateful is that, this is how that fucking fat ass bitch repays us. I don't care if I don't sleep. I will not rest till we fight to get Molly back, don't worry. No matter how long it takes. But what about what you said, what if she doesn't survive before that can happen, what if she dies before we can get her the transplant, I want my little girl back. So do I honey, so do I, but like I said, we better get moving if we want to fight to get Molly back, let's go see Dr. Lloyd, she will be able to help us. Since she was the one who diagnosed Molly, and as far as Maureen, I hope she rots in hell. Watch, Karma will find her one day, I know it. Molly, how are you feeling? Why do you look so worried? Because you took me away from my mommy and daddy, I don't want to be here. I want to go home. You don't have to worry, I took you away from those evil child abusers, you're safe now, I will find you a new family. No, 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 I wanna go home 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 I wanna go home, help me. Someone help me. Shut up, you blow my cover, people will hear us, you're a bad girl, so you will not eat for five days, now I will lock you in the closet. Come on let's go. Let me go. Let me go. 
Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Wah, uh, ah. Thank you, Dr. Lloyd, for seeing us on such short notice. No problem. I completely understand why you asked to speak with me as you both been wrongfully accused of child abuse and she's been taken away from you. That's right. Our neighbor Maureen Richardson saw the bruises on her arm caused by her illness and assumed we harmed her and told social services. Now thanks to her, Molly has been taken into foster care and not only we been accused of child abuse, we have also been accused of making a oh her illness. Please, Dr. Lloyd, you need to help us, Molly is seriously ill and she needs to be with her parents, not with strangers who probably assume that she is not sick. Don't worry Brian, I have asked the social worker to come here today so we can show her the medical records. We've tried showing her the ones you gave us but she refused to look at them, she said they were forged, it was almost like she was determined to take Molly. You know what, I reckon she was doing it for the money, I've read online that social workers receive extra money from the government every time they take a child from their parents. I reckon that's why she took Molly without looking at the medical records first, she is just a greedy money-grabbing social worker. Well I am well caliphed so I can show it to her when she gets here, she has to believe you now, she will be here soon just she running late. Sorry I'm late, I was stuck in traffic. Are you sure you were stuck in traffic and not just planning to take another child away from their family for no reason just so you can earn some extra cash? Brian, please. You make me sick, taking a desperately ill child away from her family, I hope you can't sleep at night, thinking about what you did. But, I was only doing my job and I know an abused child when I see one and I know a forged medical record when I see one. You didn't even bother to look at them, you just took one look at Molly's bruises and assumed abused, well that woman over there is the person is the one who diagnosed Molly. She has a fickle medical records that states that Molly is really suffering Fanconi anemia, you see, she is actually a qualified doctor. Perhaps Mrs. Hingleson moves down the table and allow the social worker to sit here, I can show her the records. Now as you see here, this folder shows actual records of Molly's diagnosis, they officially confirm her diagnosis of Fanconi anemia. I'm sorry but I have to ask, how much are they paying you? Excuse me? Well I believe you are not a qualified doctor, you are just posing as one and playing a part in the cover up and that those records are well and truly forged. Are you fucking kidding me? Why are you doing this? Mrs. Baker, I can assure you that these medical records are 100% official. If you could just take a look then you will see that they're not forged. Hello this is Bridget Baker from Social Services. What? You suspect abuse of a 5 year old boy? They said he has fits but you think they are making it up. Well, that is just rude and unprofessional. You know what if you're just going to be ignorant then you can just leave. So, you think his dad kicked him in the head? Well I'm on my way. Well I see we are dealing with a selfish, corrupt, and quite stubborn woman. I think you two should sue her and get your lawyer and take her to court. Oh don't worry, we will do whatever it takes to make sure Molly is back where she belongs. This all because some stupid fat woman sticking her fat nose in. And the worst part is, that woman was our neighbor for years and we supported her through her own problems and this is how she repaid us. Well I suggest you get your lawyer right away so we can begin this fight to get Molly back. The longer we wait then there is a high chance her condition could deteriorate. We? Yes. I'm going to help you get Molly back, don't worry we will prove together that she did not harm her or make up her condition. I don't know how much I can take this, it's been 6 weeks and they still won't let us have Molly back despite all the proof. I know honey. But we have to keep fighting and appealing. I just want my little girl back. She could be getting sicker and she needs us. She needs her mommy and daddy. I know, I know, I want her back home with us also.
ha 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 ha. Now that I got extra money for taking children away from parents now I can get out of this shite hole. I love being corrupt. Hello officers, may I help you? Are you Bridget Baker? Yes I am. Is there a problem officers? We got a warrant for your arrest. Mr. Baker you're being accused of false accusation and taking away a child named Molly Hingleson for no reason. And you failed to read her. Medical records that prove her parents are not abusing her. That she has a medical condition causing her bruises. Now I'm afraid you will need to come with us Mrs. Baker. Put your hands behind your back. You are being arrested for false accusations. You do not have to say anything but it can harm your defense. Anything you say will be used agonist. You in the court of law. Wait what? No officers, this is clearly a mistake here. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh cut the bull crap. You are going to jail rather you like it or not. Now get into the police car right freaking now. No 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 no. Let go of me. Put me down. I will sue you. Just you wait. Where am I? Oh shut up. Mr. and Mrs. Hingleson, the transplants was successful and Molly is going to be okay, we will have to keep her here tonight observation, but you can take her home the next day. Thank you so much doctor for saving our little girl's life, she would have died if we didn't bring her here, thanks for saving my baby. It is no trouble at all, after all it is my job, anyways I will leave you two to be with Molly. Oh Molly, baby, can you hear me? Mommy and Daddy missed you so much. We did it sweetie, we won the fight and we got you back. I didn't know what I'd do if we lost you baby. Hi mommy, hi daddy, is that you? Oh Molly, you're awake, I'm so glad you are back with us, we thought we might have lose you. Where am I? You're in the hospital Molly, the doctors gave you your special treatment to make you better. Really? Yes princess, you're gonna live, so this means you will be with us again, mommy and daddy fight so hard to get you back and we won. She is so beautiful, isn't she? Yes she is. Molly say hello to your new baby sister. Hello, I am Molly, your new big sister. Mommy, Daddy, did Molly got taken away from you guys because she was sick? Yes, it is true. That really happened to me. It was scary. I was afraid I was never going to see Mom and Dad ever again, since I was sick with Fankani anemia. Were you scared? Yes, 
I was I thought I was going to die since that mean old social worker took me away and didn't believe me I was telling the truth about me illness, but thank God I am still here. I love you girls, Molly you seem to make a great big sister, Rosie loves your stories. So do I, so do I, and thank God Molly you're still with us. We are all together and we will never let anyone take you away from us again. We are together as a family. I love you all. I love you mom. I love you Rosie. And I love you to dad. 